What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today we're doing the second part of my 2020 favorites. So we are talking skincare. If you want to see the first part where I talk about makeup, I will link it up here. And just be prepared for a lot of product talk because I'm mentioning a whole bunch of products. If you've been following my channel, if you've been watching my videos, these products will come to no surprise to you <laughs> because I've been sticking to the same products all year basically. There are some new fun ones in there of course. If you are interested in any of the products, I have linked my affiliates links down below. Basically if you make any purchase from the links down below, I will make a small commission out of that so that's good for you to know. And also there will of course be timestamps so let's get into the video. We're gonna go in a routine order, kind of. So we're gonna start with oil cleansers. As most of you know, I do double cleanse. I always cleanse with an oil first, or that's more of a makeup remover step or breakdown makeup step. And then I go in with a water-based cleanser, which is more of like a either jelly or milky cleanser. So let's start with oil cleansers. And for the first one, this is my holy grail. This is a Creamer Lab Refreshing Cleansing Gel Oil. It's as you can see, I'm out. I've had, I don't know how many bottles of this one. It's been a fave since forever. And this year it hasn't changed at all. This is an oil cleanser, but it is a gel hybrid. So if you are like me and you don't like too, too heavy oils, this one is perfect. It breaks down the most stubborn makeup, the most stubborn waterproof mascara. It leaves the skin feeling plump and happy. And it emulsifies beautifully. Once you add a little bit of water, it kind of turns a little bit milky. It's just a very sophisticated, lovely formula, and it'll be one of my faves until forever. It was one of the first oil cleansers I tried, and it shall be my last. I was gonna say, but that sounded very depressed. That was not how I meant it. Second of all, I have the That I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. This is also a K Beauty brand. Most of my first step cleanses, oral cleansers, are Korean beauty brands because I believe that South Koreans invented oil cleanser? I don't know, I think so. They're best at them anyways. <laughs> this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've been using it up almost. It's almost done. It smells lovely, almost a little bit like orangey, citrusy. This is a lovely, lovely scent. The consistency is amazing. When you apply it to your skin, it just melts down into this lovely oil. It's also very efficient and it just, since it has that really lovely scent, it just gives another level of experience, if you get what I'm saying. So if you're into more like luxurious experience, this one is lovely. It smells like citrusy spa. My third fave in this category, I don't have it at home because I ran out of it and then I didn't purchase it because, listen, even though things are favorites of mine, it's rare that I will purchase another one because most of the times so I have other options at home that I really like and I feel like it's wasteful to just go out and buy something new but if I one day run out of all my oil cleansers I think this one is the first one I will go out and purchase because I miss it dearly <laughs> it is the holy frog kiss me balm cleanser <sighs> once again a lovely lovely balm very efficient feels so nice on the skin breaks it all down um, I love all the Holy Frog cleansers, but this is the only first step cleanse that they have and it's amazing. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it's worth it. I really love it and I'm sad to know that, you know, they don't sell it outside of the States. So the day that I move from here, I probably won't ever be able to lay my hands on it. So I might actually purchase that soon if I run out of all my cleansing bombs. And then for my last favorite is a Swedish brand. Uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like right now because I'm almost, I'm almost out. This is the Mellow Balm Cleanser by Skin City Skincare. They do ship worldwide, so if you really want it, um, you can get it. But this is their cleansing balm. It has quite a interesting texture. It looks kind of, you see how that kind of looks jelly? But it is very thick and oily. It's almost like that gel liquid gel cleanser that i showed you from creamer lab but it's the kind of balm version of that so it's like a gel but it's yeah it's thicker it's not liquidy and it just melts down to this lovely lovely oil as the other ones efficient smells lovely just a really nice experience on your skin and it, you know i just love oil cleansers because it's the most efficient but gentle way to remove your makeup at least 
from all the methods that I've tried. Now for my second step, cleanse. I am a big fan of milk cleansers and you will see this in my favorites. I do like gel cleansers too, but especially when winter time comes around, there's just something lovely about a milky, nice, soft, hydrating, gentle cleanser. And it, it's just once again, the experience of just putting milky products on your skin. I just love it. So my first fave I don't have here, but I've talked about it endlessly in a lot of videos. It is the Holy Frog Tashmu Water Lily Milky Cleanser. <sighs> Lovely. It's just got this very liquidy but milky texture. It's so soft on the skin and it leaves your skin, you know, once you've rinsed it off and kind of patted your skin dry, it feels so soft and so plump and happy. It's just high quality cleanser. Then, Second, it's almost kind of a little bit of a dupe of that, but I don't know if it can't be a dupe because first of all, it's not very affordable in comparison to the Holy Frog one. And also I think this one was first. This is the Paula's Choice Optimal Result Hydrating Cleanser. Once again, if you're looking for a milky one, it's just a lovely, as you can see, it almost kind of looks like a moisturizer, but it does foam up the tiniest amount once you add water, just a little tiny bit. This one is, you know, as the first one, no fragrance, cruelty free, and just lovely and milky on the skin. And then lastly, I have another empty. <laughs> this is the Skin Treat Multi Action Face Cleanser. Uh, Skin Treat is a Swedish brand, so I don't think you can get it outside of like Scandinavia. But if you're in Sweden, this is a lovely, affordable option. It is a gel cleanser, it does foam up, but it does not strip my skin. It makes it feel very hydrated and happy afterwards. It's super efficient and affordable. Go check it out. If you want an option like this in the US, I love the Acure uh, Soothing, Seriously Soothing Cleanser. Also another favorite. Then we're at, dare I say my favorite category. This is hydrating toners. I love hydrating products. I love liquids that you put on your skin. You can put them in layers. It plumps up your skin. It makes it feel hydrated and happy. I have very dull skin and slightly dry skin. And so my skin just in its natural state very sad and deflated and quite frankly dead and all these hydrating products really help plump up and breathe life back into this dullness so my first one that i'm kind of running out of is the perito centella unscented toner this is a very regular basic hydrating toner this is one of those you can use in layers you can layer three to seven layers of this if you want to. I think seven might be a little bit excessive. I don't know, it depends on your skin. But I usually do like two or three of this one after I um, cleansed and lovely affordable product. It's almost a little bit like the Claire's toner, but I feel like this one is even more hydrating, which is why it's the fave. Um, so check it out. And I have two milky ones that I'm almost out of. I can tell they're very light. This is the Polish Choice Calming Enriched Toner. This is one of my all time faves. It has, when you pour it into your hand, it is a little bit like, it's almost like a very milky water. It's not like a heavy milk, it's very liquidy. Another great option if you're looking for something that will calm your skin, but also hydrate your skin, but also replenish your skin. It's, it says on packaging that it's great for dull skin, which I really feel, and that it hydrates and soothes. And that is what I, exactly what I feel like it does. I go usually I tend to go towards a milky cleanser uh, during fall and winter time because I feel like I need that extra boost of uh, moisture in my routine. So this is great. It says it's for dry to very dry skin. Love it. Will be sad when it's gone. Another KBD brand that I feel like is not very big in the States, but it's huge in Europe. This is Make Prem and this is their low air tint moisturizing toner. This is very much like the Polish Choice one, so it depends on kind of where you are in the world, but I feel like they work very much the same. Also, milky, calming, great for sensitive skin, great for when your skin is irritated. Lovely. Let's get into my actives. I have four products that are like active products, and when I say active, I mean like exfoliants or different uh, antioxidants that work on your skin to give a glow. Basically things that when you add them into your routine, they make a difference to any issue you have in your skin. First of all, I have a product that I'm very briefly gonna talk about because I have an entire video about it, but it's the Polish Choice 2% Liquid BHA. If you've been following me, you know, 
for a long time, <laughs> you know that this is a product that kind of introduced me to skincare. Uh, in my late teens, I had huge issues with congestion. So I had like clogged pores all over my forehead and my cheeks. So just, you know, like skin color, just bumps. That's what I had. And this completely removed it all. If you have any issues with congestion, so whiteheads, blackheads, or mild to moderate acne, you need to check out this product or you need to just check out BAJ in general. I've had this for years. And if you want to know more about this product, I will link the video uh, that is dedicated to BAJ and you can learn all about it. I'm using it for years, I'm still using it and I think I'll be using it for the rest of my life. <laughs> then I have a vitamin C. And once again, I'm going to keep it short because I do have an entire video about vitamin C, which I will link here. But um, 2020 is the year where I really started finding great vitamin C's that actually made a big difference to my skin because as I said I have double skin and I also experience breakouts and if you have skin like that vitamin C is a great product for you because it does give you glow it evens out your skin tone it works on pigmentation and it just overall gives you a very healthy complexion it's a great antioxidant and the one that I've been loving this year is the timeless skincare 20% vitamin C if you're really like acid one it's a dupe of the skinceuticals vitamin c and if you haven't heard about that one it's basically a cold product everybody talks about the skinceutical vitamin c in the skincare community but that product costs 100 and in between 150 and 270 dollars this one costs 26 dollars and it's highly efficient and i loved it when i had it for the three months I loved it. I just ran out and I'm going to order a new one. Then we're getting into more surface exfoliating acids. So the BAJ works more in the pores with breakouts. If you want to work on your glow and just exfoliating that outer layer of skin, AAJs is your best friend. Once again, I have an entire video about AAJs, how to choose them, who needs them, how do they work on the skin? How do you put them into your routine? All those questions I answer in that video. Um, but my favorite, one this year which came in quite late but i love it this is the allies of skin mandelic pigmentation corrector serum the allies of skin are they're quite expensive i know and i talked about this on my instagram that if i there's some products that i love but i wouldn't purchase with my own money because I, I just i'm not the type of person who will spend a hundred dollars on a skincare product because i know that there's more cheap ones out there um, and even though this formula in particular is amazing, I'm not prepared to spend $100 on a skincare product. But if you are, I know that there are people out there that are, you should check out this product. This has mandelic acid in it and lactic acid in it, which is basically the two more gentle um, forms of AHA. It also has salicylic acid and then it has a bunch of antioxidants and peptides in there. It's a classic cocktail product. So you know how the trends a couple years ago were like, you have one isinamide serum, you have one AJ serum, you have one of this, you have one of that. It was kind of like you were building your own routine. And I think people got a little bit tired of that. So now they're more looking into more cocktail products where they can have everything they want in one product. This is that. It works. It's perfect to brighten and repair and just take care of any anything that's going on on the surface that is bothering you, like pigmentation or acne scars or dullness. When I put this on my skin and I wake up the day after, glow, glow. Then lastly, from actives, when you feel dull right now and you're like, you want the glow right now or you need the glow, like if you're going somewhere or you just need a refreshment for your skin, I usually do like an exfoliating mask. Been talking about this one a lot once again. This is the Ole Hendrickson Fat Glow Facial. It has PAJ in it. PAJ is a very gentle exfoliating product. But this has so many great ingredients in it and it just i have before and afters i have an instagram post where i showed the before and afters with this mask and my skin is just so much more glowy and brightened and plump after using this and it is every time i love this product it's a true like instant fix but it's gentle it's not a very like 20 percent 30 percent aj product it's very 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 gentle then for sunscreens i have four favorites from this year and i will not talk about them in detail because once again i do have an spf video but uh first out is the polish choice youth extending daily hygienic fluid spf 50 lovely stuff you can see i'm almost out it's a very liquidy um lotiony formula but it dries down 
not matte, but kind of satin on your skin so you can't really see it. Uh, which is really nice for like summertime when it's really hot outside. This is lovely. It's very light. Perfect for oily skin. I have dry skin, so I really like this summertime. During this season, I do like a little bit more of a thicker one. So I just started going back to my Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is a small brand from the States, so I don't think you can get it outside of the country. But this is more of like a thicker cream. And... It has a little bit of like a sunscreen scent to it, but I don't mind that. It's not fragrance, it's just that it smells like a sunscreen would do. But yes, this one is very moisturizing as well and great for dry skin. If you have dry skin, I can definitely recommend you check those out. Also very affordable. I think they're like $20 a bottle. Then I have two K-Beauty SPFs. One that has been in a lot of controversy lately. This is the Purito Centella Green. Unscented Sun SPF 50. I've been using this all year and I love it. It's a very nice light lotion SPF. Turns out there might not be actual SPF 50 in this. There were some lab tests made. They showed that it only had SPF 19 in it. It's a really bad thing because I'm actually, I've, I just finished this. I don't know if it's true. Purita have stopped selling it for the moment to test it. So I don't think there's been like a final statement, but I'm, you know, I'm glad I ran out because I'm not, I wouldn't have used it if I still had it. If you do have it at home, you can still use it on your hands, they say, uh, but I would wait for the final statement from the actual brand before I make any choices on if you should continue on using it or not. Then I have the, another K-Beauty brand. This is the Dr. Curacle Seeker Origin Anti-Dust Sun Gel. This is a very light one. It's not a gel though, it is like a moisturizer. Wait, I'm gonna put it on the other hand because I had still lip swatches on that. Um, it's a very light, lovely formula. Great for um, oily skin or great for dry skin if you wear a moisturizer underneath or if you just want it for summer. Once again, all of my SPFs are just very lovely and light or if they're a little bit thicker, I use them during winter time. For my eye cream, listen, you don't need eye cream um, if you want one that has some specific ingredients in it that works for your under eyes, that's great. But I don't think they necessarily need it. I think that most of your moisturizers and serums you can use under your eyes. But if you really like to get one, I love the Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8, this is a Swedish brand. And it is a bit of a bougie one, but it does have retinol 8 in it, which is apparently their own patented retinol. When I started using it, I did feel a little bit like, not burning, but kind of like tingling cessation. Uh, but definitely after a couple of days, that was just gone. My skin got used to it and I love how it makes my under eyes are hydrated and happy and plump. I use this nighttime, morning time when I have the energy. I use the Clarice Fundamental Eye Cream, which is more like a jelly hydrating texture, which is what I like in eye creams. I don't like for them to be too heavy. It makes my eye under eyes feel very hydrated and plump, and I just wake up a little bit. I keep it in the fridge. Now we only have night cream slash night masks and oils left. I'm just gonna warn you that the night creams that I use are quite heavy, and I do like to use oil, even though I do like to use the lighter oils. So first of all, I'm actually gonna talk about a product that I haven't been talking about a lot on my channel because I haven't been using it too much this year, but I used it a lot the year before, and now at the end of the year, I started using it again. This is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. It's this lovely, bouncy, jelly type of formula. There you go. It's just lovely. It smells very fresh. It's more like a hydrating mask, I would say. So it isn't very thick, but when you apply it and then wake up, your skin is like just very hydrated and plump and happy. So that's a really good night mask if you're looking for something hydrating and soothing. If you're looking for something more thick, <laughs> I talked about this product in my last video. Uh, my like, if I can only have five products video, I picked this one. This is the Essence Medical Barrier Cream. This is a very thick cream you can only use it if you're dry. Don't even try if you're oily because this is thick. The formula itself is very light, as you can see, but once you start like massaging it in, it definitely, you can feel it on your skin. It's not like sticky, but you just feel it as a layer, which I don't personally mind, especially if I'm using it as like a night mask, which I usually do. I usually apply a thick layer of it at night, and then when I wake up, my skin is still, it, it almost works like just a seal. Um, 
it kind of locks all the hydration and everything else that I put on before it kind of locks it in so love that and if you want a more affordable version that isn't as thick but still works really great it's the beauty act hydrative night lab mask also great very hydrating also seals everything in and works as a great just layer on top of your skin a moisturizing layer only available in sweden though then lastly i have three oils that i just want to quickly mention because i started using oils and most of the times i use them either as a primer um or most of the times i use them before actually my night mask because i like the benefits of those oils to kind of into my skin. I really love squalene oil because it's one of the lighter oils and it's also very hydrating. So I have the one from Tylenus, which is a lovely, lovely one. It's 100% squalene, squalene is squalene. And most of the times when you buy an oil, it's 100% oil or it should be. If you can't get the Tylenus one, uh, The Ordinary has one and also uh, Good Molecules has one. But here I have the Good Molecules Pure Cold Press Corrosive Seed Oil another lovely one and then lastly i have one from a brand called acacia which is a swedish brand and this is like a concoction it's a little cocktail oil cocktail it has vitamin c vitamin e squalane jojoba oil argan oil and q10 so it's a big old mix a big old blend of lovely oils which i've been using lately and it is I think I'm not gonna talk for the rest of this day <laughs> because I have filmed both my makeup favorites and my skincare favorites and my, my voice is just starting to not cooperate with me right now. <laughs> but if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, I would love if you wanted to share your favorites in the comments down below. I, I always want new tips on great products and it's over here to share. You know? Alright, thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.